What's up, Print Hustlers? Bruce from Printavo, Simple Shop Management Software. Today, I want to go over the ability to be able to have a contact or an inquiry form on your website and have it automatically funnel right into Printavo as an order. Now, this is doable using a website called Zapier. That's zapier.com. Zapier.com allows you to connect thousands of apps on the web together so that you can share data and information. Printavo is one of those. Now, you can have any kind of contact form with any fields on your website. I highly recommend some of these fields though that I created here. This is an example Google form that I created for this test so that you guys can follow along. Of course, this can work via a jot form or type form, WordPress forms, any anything of the like. So uh, first name, last name, email address, phone number. I mean, these are just great fields to have, right? To be able to reach out back to that customer quickly. And some more details, you can even have these file uploads. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this form and all this data, and we're going to be able to input it into a new quote here. So it'll start to fill out information that we need. And I actually want to assign it to a particular status because I want to know that these are inquiries coming in from the website. So I actually created this new status called quote inquiry form, gave it a color, and using status change notifications, we are going to use this to automatically probably email our sales rep that this happened. You know, so you can have this say sales rep at your shop.com and then a message for them to be able to know that hey you got a brand new message, go in here and quote them. So let's just go back here and set this example up. So again, we've got this form, this works great. Let's go into Zapier and let's click make a zap. We'll name it first, we'll call it Google Form to Printavo quote. Now we'll choose our app where this is coming from. Again, they work with job forms. They work with all kinds of interesting contact forms that you'll find. Um, they work with type form. So you're really good and covered here. For our example, we are using a Google form and we want it to be any new response in the spreadsheet that uh, came from that inquiry form. I'm going to go ahead and actually use our info.printavo.com here account for our Google form. Hit save and continue. I'm gonna select the spreadsheet that I'm using here, which is current inquiry form test. And that worksheet is the form responses sheet. So um, this is exactly how we're gonna get our data. This will be very independent of whatever form that you use. So you just follow the instructions. Okay, we've got an example here that I submitted on this form so that way we've got an example to pull from this lady jane and she's got some content of what she's looking for the images file uploads and this and that perfect this is the example that we'll use to go forward now what we want to do is be able to add our action step so we'll create an action which is new quote in printavo i'll type in printavo i'll then go in here and type create quote invoice and then we're gonna select our Printable account, hit save and continue. Okay, so now it's time to fill in the fields for this order. So the user, you can assign it to anybody. I'll just put it as the owner. The nickname for this job, probably good to nickname it. Um, maybe incoming contact request. Now we don't have any line items, but you can fill this up if you'd like. So we're just gonna zero this out because when it comes into Printavo, that's when we will appropriately fill out the line items to quote them and message the customer back. This is the quote, are you good to go and approve it? Now, customer due date, um, what you're gonna to wanna to do is keep in mind that we need a format like this, month, month, slash, date, date, slash, year in uh, four digits. Format is important for us to accept it. Now, as you'll notice, 
the dates, for example, this timestamp when we got it is not in this same format. So Zapier is really smart and can help us format it correctly. So we'll just add a formatter here. And I will then go in, select date and time, save and continue. And then we're going to transform this. So what we're going to do is we're going to transform the format. So I'm going to select that. We'll give it the date that you would like to format, which is our timestamp. That's the one that we want to use. Now, of course, in the form, you could have a date that says, when do you need this by? That's a great question. And then you could do the same thing for this too. And then to format. So what is the format we want to use? Remember, it's month, month, slash date, date, slash year, year just like this. So we'll select it. Done. So we'll click send test to formatter. Zapier likes it. Awesome. We'll go back in to set up our template and I'll use that one instead by selecting it. Date time and I'll select this formatted date. Perfect. All right. Customer. So you can assign a customer if you'd like to maybe create a kind of inquiry form customer, but I actually recommend you create a customer on the fly every time. And you can do that by clicking this, add a search step. So what this allows you to do is search for an existing customer by email and or create a new one. So let's do that. So this is the email address that came in. Create printable customer if it doesn't exist yet, yes. We'll add first name, last name, company. I have all that good info from this contact form. And we'll just fill it out because this is exactly then what will be in Printavo. Uh, we asked for a phone number too, put that in there. Some notes, maybe I'll just say reached out from our website contact form. And then what we'll do is go ahead and hit continue. And then this is done. So now what we can do is go back into creating our quota invoice again. We'll scroll down to this customer and you'll notice that now it says use a custom value. So it's using this search or create action here. Invoice status. So remember I created that new quote um, inquiry status inquiry form i'm just going to select my status that i want production due date i'm just going to use the same one we're going to change this later of course when we get into production and that'll be a placeholder for now so the rest of this information you probably won't know yet although it may be good to put in the notes that the customer actually wanted right so that a sales rep on your end can be able to respond back they wrote in, we're looking for 36 shirts for a volleyball tournament, and that's the description, so I'll paste that right in there. And then hit continue. That is it. That's all you have to do. Now, when you hit send test to Printavo, it will literally send it right into Printavo, and you can turn on that zap, and it will run. This is exactly how then you'll funnel inquiries from your website right into Printavo, and you'll notice and when we go into our invoices, that test is right here. I can open it up. I'll see the details that they wanted. I'll be able to edit it, create an actual quote for them, and be able to send it off. Now, the one thing you'll notice, actually, is that we don't have the link to the files that they wanted. So you can always be able to add that as more information in the notes field. Um, one thing you can't do is you cannot... <clears throat> you cannot attach those as mockups. You will need to um, add them as notes. So we'll go in here, file uploads, and we'll just link to it right into here. Let's put in our description. Or maybe file upload is a better description. And then we will select the link. So when we hit continue, that'll also be in there. And so you can download it, you can open it up, 
and then you'll be able to quote them appropriately. When you're ready, then you can send them a message. You can get approval and keep moving on with the process from there. If you guys have questions, leave them in the comments below or email us support at Thanks.